Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 151 and this is my weekly meal plan. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the show. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. If there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available which may not be available to you locally. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Lola, that's Better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Lola's Frugal Life listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Lola. Hi everyone, welcome to my weekly meal plan. Uh, if you haven't listened before, each week I pretty much just share um, what I have on my meal plan with you for the upcoming week for my family. Um, the idea is to help maybe motivate you um, create your meal plan. Maybe you'll hear some things that you might want to that you haven't made in a while that you might want to add to your meal plan. Or of course, you could follow along if you'd like. Um, all of the recipes that are in the meal plan are um, posted on the Facebook page. Um, for the ones that I have links for. Some of the things are just things I make that I don't have a recipe for, but I do share um, any links that I have on the Facebook page. And I also will tell you where the recipe is from during this episode also as I share them. Um, This meal plan runs from Saturday through Friday. The episode comes out every Wednesday. That way you have time to grocery shop if you did choose to make any of the meals. Um, It it is um, really a meal plan just for dinners. Um, I don't really plan for breakfast and lunch except for maybe for special occasions sometimes. We pretty much just do like typical breakfast food like yogurt or eggs or cereal or whatever. And then for lunch, it's usually um, like lunch meat or leftovers or frozen pizza or something like that. So I do um, use a simple meal rotation. So you'll definitely see things repeat um, fairly frequently. Um, I do that to make life easier for myself and I... Um, I do things like, for example, every other Monday we have hamburgers, so when we have it this week, I put it again two weeks ahead on my meal plan for that Monday, and then that day is already planned. Um, So I have kind of like a rotation for all of the meals. Um, I started, I actually made a change, um, well, I'm in the process of making one change, and I'm, um, but I'm taking it very slowly. I might gradually do others, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to add a little bit more variety into the meal plan now that I kind of have it working really quickly the way I've been doing it. So what I'm going to do now is on what I was doing on Tuesdays was every other Tuesdays was tacos, and then every other Tuesday in between that was like our make it home Chipotle night, like a like a you know a mock Chipotle dinner. Um, So what I'm going to do now is instead of doing those every two weeks, I'm going to um, add in two other um, of that um, style type meal. So like I'm going to do tacos, then I'm going to do chipotle. I don't know if it's exactly in this order, but it's going to be like tacos, chipotle, and then I think, I forget if I decided to still keep tacos every two weeks. I think I was still, I was going to do tacos every four weeks now, Chipotle every four weeks now, I think. I haven't totally decided yet. And then I was going to do um, uh, chicken fajitas and then uh, chicken chimichangas. So kind of like to stick with that same theme, but to rotate four meals instead of just rotate the two. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try it for a little while. Um, just because I wanted to kind of try and add a little bit more variety, like slowly over time if I can. But the whole point of this meal plan is to make life easy. So I'm not going too crazy with it. So I'm just making like one small change and we'll see how that goes. So anyway, so this week's meal plan starts um, this Saturday, which is, hold on, I think it's the 30th. Do I have that date right? (laughs) Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I have that totally wrong. This meal plan starts on Saturday, January um, 23rd. So the first meal um, on our meal plan for Saturday is quick-baked chicken parm. 
That's from allrecipes.com. It's just a really quick, easy way to make chicken parm in the oven. You basically bread the chicken, you bake it in the oven, and then you add sauce and mozzarella, and then pop it back in the oven for that to just kind of melt. And then I'm making spaghetti on the side with that. Sunday is um, penne with broiled chicken. This one I don't have a recipe for, but it's super easy. It's something I started making at some point, and my whole family really liked it, so it just works out well. Um, I do, um, I take chicken breast and I cut it in little pieces and I just toss it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper or garlic powder, like whatever you like. Um, broil it in the oven until it gets like a little bit crispy. And then at the same time I have penne pasta boiling and then I just kind of toss the penne pasta with a little bit of olive oil and then, um, some mozzarella cheese, but I add the mozzarella cheese like after the pasta is off the heat so that it doesn't like fully melt. So it just kind of like melts and it's just kind of in the pasta still, you know, like the shreds are still kind of like not fully melted. And then I put the, I used to put the chicken in and mix it in, which is really good. But my one daughter doesn't eat meat now. So um, what I do now is I just put the little bowl of chicken like on the side with the pasta and then whoever wants chicken just kind of puts it in and mixes it in themselves. But it's a really quick, easy meal. Um, and everybody likes it here. So I'm um, doing that. And then we're also just going to do like a bag of frozen vegetables, like a steam fresh type, whatever variety. I always try and keep something on hand. So that is Sunday. Um, Monday, we're doing hot dogs. We do that once a month, I think I have it. Um, of course, it's not like the healthiest of meals. I always say that, but we like it and we do it like once a month. So um, so Monday is going to be hot dogs and that we're just having with... Um, home fried potatoes. I think they're called home fried potatoes, but pretty much what I do is I really don't follow a recipe for this. I just take um, potatoes and I dice them up and then I take um, peppers and onions and I cut them up and then I mix it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and I throw them in the air fryer and um, just cook them until they're done and they come out really good. And then what we do is make like Italian hot dogs with them. You could also just roast it in the oven if you don't have an air fryer. Um, so we're doing that. So we make the Italian hot dogs and then I'm going to do like a bagged salad with that. Just like one of those, um, like the kind of salad that you buy at the grocery store that kind of has like the dressing and the toppings and stuff in it. I'll just pick one out and we'll have that with the hot dogs. So we can add a little bit of health to it. <laughs> um, Tuesday, we are having um, sheet pan chicken fajitas. Um, that is from foodnetwork.com and it's just a really simple um, sheet pan fajita recipe. It's you pretty much just cut up the chicken, cut up the onions, cut up the peppers, toss it with olive oil and some seasonings, bake it in the oven. Um, this one might actually be broiled. I don't remember if it's baked or broiled, but either way, um, that and then you know, and then you just serve it on um, fajitas. Uh, what do you call them? Tortillas. <laughs> you serve, serve them on the flour tortillas. And then um, for my daughter who doesn't eat meat, I'm gonna make um, chipotle black bean chili. Um, which is from myplantbasedfamily.com. And it's just, um, it's a good, uh, just like vegetarian chili recipe. This is in the um, Instant Pot, but I'm sure you could make it on the stovetop if you don't have an Instant Pot. So that's Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, we are doing bacon-wrapped barbecue shrimp, which is from allrecipes.com. This is one of my favorite ways to make shrimp. And I know I mention this every time, but just for anyone who's new, I don't wrap the shrimp in the bacon. I cut the, the bacon up in like little squares and I just kind of lay it over all of the shrimp. So like for each piece of shrimp, I just put like a little bacon square and um, I cook it that way and it comes out really good and it's so much easier than sitting there wrapping all of the shrimp in the bacon. It comes out pretty much just the same. And then with that, I'm doing um, easy fried rice which is from um, SeriousEats.com. And I think this is not the Instant Pot recipe that I normally use. I think this is just, yeah, this is just like a basic fried rice. So honestly, with this one, I kind of have it on there more as a placeholder. I don't really, if I'm just doing simple fried rice on the stovetop, I really don't follow a recipe. I just have my white rice, I have my bag of frozen vegetables, um, I make the eggs, and then I just kind of, um, fry up the vegetables, add the rice, um, toss in some soy sauce. Um, I'll throw in some of the, um, oh, what the heck is it? The sesame oil. And then just kind of mix it all together and toss in the eggs at the end. So um, that, and that goes really good with the, with the barbecue um, bacon wrapped shrimp. 
Uh, so that's Wednesday. So Thursday we're doing Instant Pot Vegan Vegetable and Barley Soup. Um, we're not doing it specifically because it's vegan because there's no we don't have anyone that's vegan in my house. But it's just a really good um, vegetable soup. Um, and that is from allrecipes.com. I'm sure, again, that you can make that on the stovetop if you don't have an Instant Pot, although the bar barley definitely would take much longer to cook. Um, and we're just going to do that with grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, if I happen to have ham in the house, like lunch meat, sometimes I'll throw ham on some of the grilled cheese sandwiches if anyone wants to have some meat with the meal since it's all vegan. Well, at least the, veg you know, the soup part is vegan and then the rest is vegetarian, I guess. Um, so we'll see. But I've, I also sometimes just do it with just the regular grilled cheese and the soup. So that is Thursday. So then our last meal on the meal plan is Friday the 29th, which we are having Jenny O's Best Ever Meatloaf, which is from allrecipes.com. It's called Jenny O's because that's just like the brand of turkey meat that made this recipe, but I don't actually use that brand. I use whatever I usually buy at the grocery store. I don't remember. I think it might be Butterball. I forget what, what brand it is, um, but I get it. What I get the turkey meat at, at um, BJ's, whatever brand they carry. I just don't remember. Um, but anyway, it's just like a basic turkey meatloaf recipe. And um, with that, we're doing um, just box shells and cheese and then um, doing air roasted cauliflower and broccoli. That is from allrecipes.com. Um, and like I, I've said before, whenever I make this, I usually don't do the cauliflower and broccoli together just because it's a lot of vegetable and it's a little bit too much, um, more than my family's going to eat. And plus when I buy a broccoli and a cauliflower together, they both take up so much space in the fridge. So I usually just pick one or the other. So I'll kind of rotate it. If I just recently made cauliflower, then I'll do broccoli and vice versa. So um, that's it for this week's meal plan. I hope this is helpful. Um, if you have any feedback for me, I'd love to hear from you. You could reach me at facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. We also have a private listeners group. I'd love to have you join. You can um, join that by going to facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life and just submit a request to join. I'll approve it. Um, I check it pretty much every day, so I'll definitely um, approve it quickly. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this podcast. And I would really appreciate it if you would be kind enough to leave me a rating, um, a five-star one, if you can. <laughs> that would be really helpful. But um, anyway, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a really awesome day.